Well, good morning, Mom T, and welcome to the new house. I feel like we need to take a shot every time I say new house, especially saying it in that tone. New house! I am just so excited to be here. I'm so excited to wake up in the new house this morning. It is day one in the house today. If yesterday moving vlog was day zero, because I feel like we didn't exactly get to enjoy being here, we didn't get to like soak up the new house. It was just all about getting in and getting ourselves sorted, as you can see. The first course of action was getting our bedroom set up so that we at least had like a lovely place to sleep and one of the best pieces of advice that you guys gave that I cannot be grateful for is just to focus on one room at a time and so many people said the kitchen and the bedroom are the two places that you just want to get like done and organized and sorted so that you two you just have like two rooms that feel like home already and I'm not gonna lie waking up on day one here at the new house was actually dreamy my eyes sprung open at about half five this morning because I was just so excited to be here. I've not been sleeping well for like a week, but I'm just running on empty at this point, running on pure adrenaline being in the new house. And I woke up to the most beautiful sunrise this morning. I'm gonna put a photo here because it was absolutely incredible. And it really did feel like a bit of a sign, like a bit of a, welcome to your new house, Ellie. It was actually just really, really special. Alex and I just jumped out of bed, watched the sunrise, and then made ourselves some teas, some coffees, and had a lovely morning in bed, just kind of soaking up being here, and we could not be happier. So day one in the new house, plan of action is to start getting things unpacked, getting things unboxed, and making it as livable as possible, because you know what I'm like? overwhelmed quite easily so the main plan is to try not to overwhelm myself and follow your guys advice one room at a time so bedroom and kitchen have been at the priorities and actually i'm loving how our bedroom is looking already we've already set up the curtains put some little like hold backs on got all of our bedroom furniture one thing i did as well actually is i did a dedicated box of like bedroom stuff and i actually did keep that in the car with us just so that i knew exactly where it was so that i knew that it was really really accessible and then it just meant that as soon as we got in i could unpack all of our bedroom stuff so as you can see we've already got like the cushions on the bed like the throw cushions to make it feel as normal as possible one thing I would definitely recommend actually which I'm so so glad that I packed and made really accessible is a sleep spray I rely on sleep sprays so so much I just am someone that I feel like it's a bit of a Pavlovian thing but anything that can kind of help me feel more settled help reduce my anxiety I will do it this is a Bramley sleep spray it is the sleep spray with lavender yarrow and chamomile essential oils it's a really nice one because it's not too strong like i've had some sleep sprays in the past that have been so strong like you put your head in your pillow and you're like whoa what is that this just feels very calming very relaxing but it is still quite subtle and it's a really really nice one especially when your house isn't quite smelling or feeling like your house yet it's nice just to give yourself a little home comfort with a sleep spray that you have absolutely loved so i'm really really glad that i made that super accessible and that was an easy one to unpack pack in fact actually i did get complimented from the moving guys with my packing skills they were like this is so well packed up there was nothing really that was just like having to like chuck in boxes last minute like everything was really well packed and i'd labeled every single room which they said helped them out so so much because it meant that they didn't need to have like someone standing at the front door i remember when we last moved and i literally had to stand by the front door and direct where things would go in each room like that would be the kitchen that would be the bedroom that would be this that would be that and other than kind of like the big furniture pieces all of the boxes were fully labeled they literally had on them kitchen ellie's office alex's office bedroom living room so they knew exactly where to put them they didn't even need to like ask me anything they didn't need to question and we pretty much have everything in the right rooms and i do remember the last time we moved there were so many boxes that ended up in the wrong rooms and so many like pieces of furniture that we would have to like try and kind of like drag over and especially with all of like the fresh paint the new carpets the lovely skirting board i do not want to be dragging any furniture around in this house so i'm really really grateful with the fact that i was super organized super kind of like militant with regards to labeling boxes and i've also labeled exactly what's in them so we've already been able to find a few things really easily like the kettle the coffee machine some mugs things like that so to get a compliment from the moving men who as i said yesterday were just incredible and got us in our new house so quickly and so smoothly but today is going to be about making this house our home unpacking and just starting from day one 
day one in the new house. <laughs> one thing I've also already been doing this morning is opening up some moving gifts from our lovely friends and family who have already been sending some things over. And one piece of advice I would definitely give if you're thinking about a moving present for someone, I would say flowers are not a good thing to give because I have no idea where my vases are. I do not want to be traipsing around in the boxes to try and get some vases out for flowers. What I want is some lovely smells. So reed diffusers are honestly the best gift that you can give as a moving gift. This is a gorgeous spa date reed diffuser from Habitat. It has geranium, lavender, and ancient oak and mint tea. And it's such a beautiful bedroom scent. It's like really calming, really relaxing. So immediately I put that up and I can just already smell it, filling the room with the most beautiful, beautiful scent. So I would definitely recommend it. Reed diffusers whenever it comes to a house, warming gifts because I just think they are there's going to be something that people are very very grateful in their new homes and I won't lie it is so nice to have one room that I can pretty much already show you as almost complete we picked up these um curtain rolls and holdbacks from Dunelm we also got a new like light fitting to put up and the color on the walls goes so so well in every single room it looks different in every single room we went for natural hessian which i think is a dulux color and i absolutely adore it and next to the white of like the skirtings and of the ceilings i just think it really makes the color pop and it's such a calming color in the bedroom you have to excuse all alex's clothes already piling up on the chair but our bedroom is already looking and feeling like home which is just so so lovely and is already like a really calming space to be in so if ever i start to feel overwhelmed i can just come in here and it calves my nerves. The kitchen is also starting to feel a little bit like home now which is just so so lovely to come down into this space and feel really at home in it it is feeling a little bit echoey because there isn't really any like soft furnishings in here which might be something that we think about changing but i know i already showed you this view behind me but this is exactly what made us fall in love with this house at this country farmhouse kitchen we just absolutely fell in love with it. I also love the old floors. They are just so like uneven. They're so old. They're so mottled. I absolutely adore the tiles and just love this view. And we are filling the kitchen with the most beautiful scent because as I said, reed diffusers. Oh, that is bright with the sunshine coming in on me. But as I said, the best moving in gift to receive is reed diffusers. So I've been popping up all the reed diffusers we received yesterday all around the house. This is a Rituals reed diffuser. It's absolutely huge and oh my gosh it is beautiful it's the scent sweet jasmine and i am absolutely obsessed you might remember i actually have the room sprays the little spritzes that i got from rituals sweet jasmine is one of my absolute favorites this is from my brother and his girlfriend and i am mm, just obsessed i put in literally as many reads as i can because i just want to smell the scent and i want it to fill the room as quickly as possible because i always feel like scent is just such an important thing when it comes to a home so i might actually have a little rummage so you can if i can find my candle box because I think it might be quite nice to just set up a few candles around the house start burning them and start making the house smell like a home before I find the candles though I think I'm just going to give every room a little spritz with this this is the sweet jasmine home room spray I think it's called a home perfume and oh my goodness me this is a life changer if you live somewhere where you can't burn candles if you're like in rented properties or anything like that and you just want to give every room like a quick little spritz it's almost like giving it an like a spray of perfume it really is instead of spraying yourself you're spraying at your home so i'm gonna give everything a little spritz with this um just so that the whole house has a bit more of a like cohesive smell as well because i feel like that will also help with regards to making it feel more like a home and i'm just absolutely adoring the sweet jasmine scent Obviously, priorities 
first coffee in the new house i've already done a little bit of a coffee set up with my favorite nespresso machine honestly could not ever recommend this enough i've just got my syrups my coffee capsules and my kettle which i had in a box ready to go i need to put this away actually this is another lovely moving in gift which i'm thinking of popping down here i'm gonna need some advice with what to do with these little shelves next to the range cooker because i don't really know how i would style them i was thinking of putting um wine down here but this is a little bit too big so potentially we could put that there is that quite a good idea or is that a bad idea to keep wine next to something that's going to get hot i'm not sure but let me know how you would kind of style up these little kind of like sections beside the range cooker because i'm really undecided obviously i've just got a few things out for now in the kitchen just to try and make it feel a little bit more homely like alex's knives some decor little fluffy flowers our butcher's block and um, i'm really struggling with what to do with regards to these little shelves so any advice any help with how you think i should style these helper girl out? My goodness i feel like we have been absolutely spoiled by our friends and family i've just been opening up some more moving cards and moving gifts and we are inundated with new home cards which is just so so lovely all of our friends and family wishing us well which i've just been displaying on our little um shelving unit which i'm not gonna lie i've had a sad realization that i feel like this unit may have to go moving house is a process like deciding what kind of goes where deciding what works is very much a process whenever it comes to moving house and i feel like we definitely went through that process with the old house it took me a really really long time to get to the point that we were at but even that house was a little bit more modern like especially in the kitchen with the extension and this house really is like an old country farmhouse style you know what i mean and I just feel like modern decor is not gonna work. Even our kitchen table, both Alex and I put it in yesterday and thought, don't quite know if it works in this home. So I think it's gonna be a bit of a process to start replacing maybe those more like modern touches with some gorgeous antiques. We can find some maybe like secondhand pieces, items that would just really work in the kind of farmhouse style that we are really embracing with regards to this house. But I've loved these shelves for so long. Potentially they might work in the utility. I'm just looking in front of me thinking they could go into the utility room, but already it's looking a little bit full because anything that I don't want to see right now, I've just been shoving in the utility room. And I think Alex is going to get home from the gym. He's at the gym at the moment the day after we moved don't know how he's the energy for it um but i think he's gonna get home and see what i've shoved in the utility room and be, he's gonna be like is this just not gonna be a room now is this just a storage space because i just don't want to look at it but as i said one room at a time one room at a time i'm trying not to overwhelm myself i mean it's already overwhelming thinking about what furniture is gonna have to be replaced what furniture doesn't quite work in this house like already i'm thinking these shelves just do not work i want them gone i want them replaced so trying to like slow down a little bit take it one step at a time the main thing everyone says is just to be kind to yourself so those are the things i just need to keep reminding myself today okay found my box of candles so we can start lighting these around the house as well as i said scent is just so important to me so i really want to make sure the house is smelling lovely and smelling like home so i'm going to put out this brownie one i think in the living room it's a lily and lionel artwork candle and it's so beautiful very spring like which i absolutely adore i've only burnt it a little bit so far so that's a great one to get out i've also got joe malone peony and blush suede i love of peonies blush weight i feel like it's just such a classic joe malone candle again a little bit spring like i feel like these are really starting to lean into the spring vibes but this one i have been saving literally since christmas you guys might remember i got this when i went to the molten brown event at christmas time the recharged black pepper oh my goodness me this is such a gorgeous like deep rich kind of smells like a log burner but it's not really a log burner such a beautiful candle and i love how the molten brown candles look they are so bougie so i think i'm gonna get this one out this might be one that i save and burn this evening actually just to make it a little bit more homely tonight when we cozy on down on the sofa oh i can smell it is absolutely incredible and seeing as though we don't quite have a log burner yet i think this is going to be the perfect one to light this evening so a couple of candles just to pop around the house again to start making it feel more homely if you could see what you are balancing on right now you would not believe that i'm a real youtuber but the things that we do for the vlog you are currently sitting on the kettle a speaker and a candle so i have managed to find some candles and i've dotted them around the house i've also just taken off my cardigan because oh my god i'm getting really really warm unpacking and unboxing all of the bits today but i've taken a bit of an unboxing break because i've just had 
my first piece of PR, arrive at the new house. And this could not be more perfectly timed. I'm so, so excited to unbox this. This is from Our Place, which I feel like you guys will all know Our Place because they have become iconic in the world of cooking and in the world of pans crockery pots and i'm so excited to unbox this because i feel like this is just going to be the perfect addition into our perfect countryside kitchen which i cannot cannot wait to start cooking here you know i'm not the best cook in the world i do try alex is the cook in our relationship i'm more of the baker but especially with regards to this new kitchen i really want to get using the range i really want to get like cooking up more on it and just kind of get get a little bit more domesticated with regards to my cookery. Oh my gosh, this is so beautifully packaged. I cannot get over it. Can you see how stunning this is? I didn't even know that we were gonna get a little um, spatula with it as well, which I would love to know. Are you the kind of person that loves like a wooden or like a plastic spatula? I feel like everyone has their own thing that they cook with and their favorite utensil that they cook with. It's such a boring question to ask, but I feel it's, it's almost like everyone has like a favorite stove. Mine was always the back left. Alex's was always the front right. Let me know what stove, with, like which hob ring you like to cook on and what your favorite utensil is to use in the kitchen. But I'm gonna have to remind myself which color I went for. I can't remember the exact name of the color of this, but it says, at our place, we believe in the power of home cooking to bring people together. Take good care, but always pan it needs love. Oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. It's like a little guide, a beautifully, like really aesthetically done guide of the always pan. And I'm so excited to get to unboxing because this is just the most beautiful, like beigey color. It's gonna fit so well with the aesthetic in our kitchen. We're really leaning into like the warm tones that we've got in this house, especially because there's like obviously a lot of wood in the house. Like it's very farmhouse chic. Um, we're just really leaning into that, especially with obviously like the wall color that we went for natural hessian. It's a very, very warm color. And I feel like, oh, Gosh, this is beautiful. The most stunning, like warm, beigey, bisky color. I will leave linked down below exactly which one I picked up because I cannot remember the name of the color off the top of my head. There's nothing here that tells me what color this one actually is. I think it might be called Biscuit or something like that, but it's the most beautiful, beigey tone. And I actually can't get over how light this is. I'm not gonna lie. I've always wanted some like real, sturdy crockery real sturdy pans but so many of them are so heavy especially like the cast iron ones they are so heavy i don't know how anyone cooks with them and i've been wanting something like this for so so long this is absolutely beautiful love the fact that it has the lid Ooh, box is closing on me love the fact that it has the lid i love the fact that you've got the like easy handle which is completely different material so that shouldn't get too hot as you are cooking you've also got the other side as well a handle that you can hold on to and this is going to be me domestic goddess over here doing all of my cooking on our new range cooker how beautiful it does that look i'm going to make sure that i take really really good care of this so oh my god stop i just noticed that okay apparently this is a spatula that is insane okay, let me show you closer because i'm really far away now this is a spatula rest i was wondering what this little dot was i was like does that take it off your spatula sits in there so that when you're cooking, you don't have to like put it on the side and get it all grubby. My mind is blown. My mind is absolutely blown. And I think I can put the lid on on top. Yeah, you can. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, our place, you are absolute geniuses. So it says it's a stay cool main handle, steam release indicator. <laughs> Oh, there's a little thing here which indicates the steam release no spill pour spout handy helper handy helper helper handle <laughs> handy helper helper handle oven safe pan and lid so you can actually put this in your oven as well first things first a clean slate is always a good idea give you always pan a quick hand wash before you get cooking two tablespoons of smoke point oil will keep your non-stick happy skip metal utensils do not use metal utensils. It can handle the heat. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I literally cannot wait. I'm gonna start looking up some recipes that I'm gonna be able to cook with this. What an amazing, oh, that's the door again. Oh my God, that was one of our new neighbors coming around to introduce themselves. That is just the sweetest thing ever. I love our new neighborhood that we've moved to. Everyone seems so lovely and so friendly. I feel like it's country living. People are just so much friendlier out in the new forest. I'll always rave about it, but the new forest is 
the place to be in my opinion the best place to live but anyway what an exciting new pr parcel to unbox and an exciting delivery that has arrived thank you so much to our place for sending this over i cannot wait to get cooking with this we all know who's going to be the most excited to use this so let's be honest i'm sure alex is going to seriously get using this new pan <laughs> cabinets are looking a lot tidier now i don't necessarily know if this is where everything's going to stay forever but at least all of the boxes in the kitchen are now unpacked and stored away somewhere <laughs> that's the most important thing the cupboards are filled and the boxes are gone i really love these um like glass cabinets i think they look really really lovely and i've also just put up my little embroidered sweet pea, which the lovely Anne did for me, um, which was just the kindest thing ever. It was just an, a gift that I did not expect. And I absolutely love it. It's one of the most special things in the world to me, because I think I've mentioned it before, but sweet peas were my granny's favorite. And so it always reminds me of my granny. And I just love the like light green. I love the pinks kind of going into like an embroidered with the white. And I just really wanted to make a feature of it. There was already a nail in this beam. So I thought, let's just make the most of it rather than pulling the nail out and filling it. Let's make a feature of it. I would love to actually do like a feature wall of like vintage prints and things that are like really, really special on this beam. I think that would be absolutely amazing, but I can't get over how well the wood matches the wood on the cabinets as well. It was almost like it was meant to be there. Now I know I said that we were really going to miss the sunshine in our old home and the light that came through in the bifold doors, but if there is one thing that this kitchen is not lacking, that is natural light. This entire house is just the most beautiful light that streams through and we are being blessed with beautiful sunshine right now, which would have been lovely to have gotten yesterday during the move, but it doesn't matter, we're getting it today and it really is the perfect day to have such beautiful light as we're unpacking and just starting to make this house our home. But I've been squirreling away inside all of the cupboards. I feel like this doesn't look too different to how I showed you this morning, but inside the cupboards, it is looking so much better and the kitchen really is starting to feel like home. We have another gorgeous south facing kitchen, which is something that I always find so important with my homes because it just means that you get to make the most of the light, a south facing garden, a south facing kitchen just means that you get sunshine all day long and it's my absolute favorite and you know we're gonna be getting out into this garden as soon as the temperatures warm up a little bit as soon as it starts getting a little bit more like spring we've got big plans for the garden but for now the kitchen really is starting to feel like a home I'm so glad I took your guys advice and just started one room at a time because I feel not too overwhelmed I feel like I've made really really good progress today and it really is starting to feel like a home in here what a first day it has been in the new house. Alex is currently next door setting up his office room, which I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to show you more rooms in the house, but I've really been trying to like focus my attention and like focus our efforts on finishing off as I said, the kitchen and the bedroom. It's actually really nice coming up here and looking at the viewfinder and just seeing the familiarity behind me, like because we've taken obviously the same furniture with us because we've got like a very similar setup. It feels very familiar and very safe. And as someone who lives with anxiety, that is like the most important thing to me. The kitchen's lovely because it's new. It's really exciting. It's been great to set it up, but it's really nice to kind of like have done the two rooms because this is giving me familiarity. The kitchen's giving me excitement. And I feel like that's such a good balance to strike. So I cannot wait to start showing you around the rest of the house and a few other rooms when they start getting near completion. I'm not expecting anything to be finished anytime soon. Although Alex is really trying to make sure his office is just ready to work tomorrow because he he is straight back to work so he needs to make sure his office is ready so he is in there setting up his desk as we speak but I've just come upstairs and I am loving the view from our bedroom window I love the fact that I can just sit here stare out into our view and you know the thing we're so not used to here 
how quiet everything is. You step out into the garden and it's just so still. All you can hear is the birds chirping, the pigeons cooing. It is so, so lovely. It might be different in summer. It's always interesting to see how things kind of like change throughout the seasons. And I'm really excited to see what it's like living in this village throughout spring at summertime. I think it's going to be so, so lovely. As I said, I cannot wait to get out into the garden, but one step at a time. Let's focus on the inside of the house before I start stepping outside and getting it green fingered. But the reason I've come upstairs is because I've actually had another delivery. It has been a good day in terms of new house PR parcels and it really doesn't take me long to get to know my postman. And I've actually had a new delivery from William Morris, which is really, really exciting. You know what a huge fan I am of William Morris. The oven gloves that I've got sitting on our new range cooker are William Morris. Loads of my cushions are William Morris. I just love William Morris like prints and fabrics. And I've been so, so kindly sent some bits from William Morris at home. Let me actually read. I always love it when they send us a little press release just to kind of like talk through the products a little bit more because this is all about beautiful sleep. And I know I said when it comes to like moving in gifts, Scent is so important. Things like candles, reed diffusers, pillow sprays are so, so important. So we have, first of all, the William Morris At Home Beautiful Sleep Magnesium Body Cream. Now I have heard loads of things about magnesium body creams recently. Magnesium is supposed to be really, really good at helping you sleep. So whether that's like taking tablets or I think body cream is just a little bit more it's a little bit more of like a natural way of infusing it into your body and a friend of mine actually recently started using a magnesium body cream she said she sleeps like a baby and i am someone that i love moisturizing morning and night i'll moisturize after i get out of the shower i'll moisturize before bed like i love having lovely rich moisturized skin i'm gonna open this actually because i really want to give this a little sniff and see what it smells like so it says here that this is infused with the calming properties of wonder mineral magnesium our sleep enhancing fragrance combines lavender cedarwood coriander and vetiver oils together with advancements in sleep technology promote the feelings of relaxation enabling new rituals which to achieve beautiful sleep does that not just sound the dream i feel like especially when you're in a new house you sleep so badly as i said last night alex and i slept terribly i mean we woke up so excited i woke up at half five literally eyes springing open but i'm really excited to start using products that are going to help me sleep better help me settle in to my new environment because you know what it's like when there's like just you don't feel that like comfort you don't really know your surroundings yet you don't really feel at home i feel like these products are really gonna help me feel more at home so i'm so excited to give that a try let's actually give it a little bit of a sniff because i have a feeling this is going to smell absolutely oh, incredible that is beautiful i put a little bit on the back of my hands because we are winding down it is time to start finishing up with the packing for today and just kind of enjoying our evening. We've managed to get the TV on the wall so that we can actually sit and watch a film this evening. So I'm really excited for that. And that just smells incredible. Oh, wow. Then have a beautiful bath bomb. Now I'm really, really excited to have my first bath here in the new house. I had my first shower this morning and I can confirm the shower is lovely. We've got a lovely rain for a shower and there's nothing better than just soaking in the rain for a shower. But I feel like a bath is unmatched. You know I love a bath and a lavender bath bomb. Sounds like the absolute dream. I feel like that would be another lovely gift to give someone if you know they're moving into a new house. They've got a bath, they're a bath person. This is so lovely. And then finally, we have the Sleep Duo. I am so excited about this. The Beautiful Sleep Essential Sleep Duo. In here, we have a pillow mist. We also have a Pulse Point Oil Net, which sounds absolutely dreamy. How do I get this open? As I said, I feel like a pillow spray is just such a great gift to receive and something I would definitely recommend having like on your person so that as soon as you move, you can spray this on your pillow and you will feel right at home in your new surroundings. I'm really excited to see what this smells like because I feel like this is going to be such a perfect addition in our bedroom and you know what I'm like when I love a sleep spray I will literally use it every single evening oh my gosh that scent is absolutely incredible it's so much more than just lavender it's kind of reminding me of a bit of a spa experience but almost like a little bit of like a deep richness to it which is so lovely it's not like a light scent it's quite a deep rich scent and it is beautiful i'm definitely going to put this on my pulse points tonight because i really want to have a good night's sleep here for our second night in the new house i might actually i think i might do a bit of a ritual this evening as you can see the sun is starting to set it's time to start winding down so i might actually run myself a bath pop in the bath bomb lather my body with the magnesium body cream and then 
spritz my pillow and put this on my pulse points and really start to just kind of like give myself a bit more of a routine to wind down for bed. I think that sounds like a really, really good idea. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna run myself a bath this evening whilst Alex finishes off setting up his office, but what a day. What a first day it has been in our new home, in the new house. I really hope you guys have been enjoying the moving vlogs and I hope you're as excited as I am when it comes to seeing all of the rooms, all of the decor. Honestly, you should see what I have been saving on Instagram, the mood boards I have been creating. I'll leave them linked down below actually because I've been doing a few like mood boards and I like to know it and I'll also leave below my Pinterest for my kind of interior style that I am thinking of because we, we're we gonna be making some changes with regards to interior styling and I cannot wait, cannot wait to really lean into that farmhouse aesthetic with this home and just really make it our own. It's gonna be such an exciting process. So I am going to leave this vlog here. I'm actually really excited to run myself a bath and I think it's gonna be such a perfect way to end perfect first day here in our new home and if you haven't hit that subscribe button already i would love it if you hit it now you can come and join me for lots more interior vlogs i promise i will be not just vlogging over the foreseeable we will mix in a few other things as well i'm actually quite excited to get back into fashion as well i think tomorrow i might start emptying out my bags and filling up my wardrobe room that is a room i cannot wait to show you as well i've got big plans big plans but anyway i'm gonna leave this vlog here i really hope you guys have enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one bye